Okay, so. One second. Do you want to know the one difference between five minutes ago and now? So, when my PlayStation 4 controller decided that it didn't want to be plugged into my computer, I took my Nintendo Switch Pro controller and hooked it up via Bluetooth to my PC, which was working. But apparently, it screwed up SNES 9X. Because I have now my Logitech controller, I have a lot of controllers, I have my like seven-year-old Logitech wireless gamepad plugged into my computer. And the game is running just fine! <laughs> because I went into my computer settings and not only turned off the Switch Pro controller, but removed it from my Bluetooth entirely. What the heck?! <laughs> now, I don't think that's going to make XSplit stop crashing. Okay, now that's just not minimizing. Yeah, no, XSplit is still crashing, or at least the GIF wall is still crashing. But the important thing is that the game doesn't. For love of God game, please switch over scenes. So, you guys just let me know if things start breaking on your end, and I'll monitor it on my end, and maybe we'll have a stream tonight. Anyway, let's just, let's go. <sighs> Hello everybody, we're back with more Earthbound Randomizer. Last time we um, got through Foreside and we fixed up the Skyrunner mostly and we came back to Ed Paula here who told Jeff, or some site, uh, Andrew, his son, that um, things are bad. Andrew wets his bed sometimes, other than he's a good boy. Take care of Andrew. Yeah, so now we have to go check out Stonehenge. Oh my god, we have a raid from Fury. Why is that not going off? Streamlabs? Streamlabs, you alright? Streamlabs? Alright then. Let's get the gun. I'm glad this isn't broken. Final Fantasy 7 Ray. Thank you very much for the raid, Hooli. Sorry about your face. <laughs> Tonight, we are playing Earthbound Randomizer. Surprisingly, it's... it worked. Despite all efforts to not work. <laughs> How dare you do that to my face? Uh... <laughs> no more soft locking. We'll have to see about that. But anyway, as I was saying, um, we gotta go to Stonehenge. 
Uh, so if you don't know what the Earthbound randomizer is, it's pretty much the exact same game as Earthbound, except all the music, the character sprites, and the enemies, and the item names and the, excuse me, enemy names are all random. Like, some of these enemies are dead poo, and some of them are exclamations. The Oriental Wannabe, what? The Oriental Wannabe and the Experimental Loot. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very fun, and the link is on the screen if you want to try it for yourself. Um, it's, it's called a reshuffler, but it's, it's a randomizer. Why did that do so little damage? Dang. I'm just gonna fast forward through a load of this. Is that Eddie from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? No. Uh, we don't want to go down here yet. I don't think. Ugh! Uh, no, actually, we do want to go through Stonehenge. Where am I? John, you're now level 31, so congratulations. You should play the original, it's good! <laughs> Eddie, what do you have? A knife! No! Yeah, so this is not supposed to be playing the shop music, for example. Uh, no, we're definitely not supposed to be down here. There's a, uh, sanctuary location nearby here, though. S oh my... Thank you for the bits! Okay, guys, gotta stop ambushing me as soon as I get out of Stonehenge. There's a fanfic. <laughs> anyway, this is our... Okay, one of the enemies apparently is a hippie. That's cool. Anyway, this guy... You finally got here. This is the fourth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Anyway, the greedy zombie apparently is our next big boss. I have no idea what the enemy music was supposed to be, but the background is from the final boss. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, 18. <laughs> so apparently we're fighting Gygus right now, so congratulations everybody, we made it. Uh, let's not use PSI Midna because he might have a shield. You can use Thunder uh, Freeze Gamma since you just learned that, and you... Oh, right, the thrifty bazooka we got. Yeah, isn't it nice uh, fighting bosses with no music? We made him numb, which is actually amazing. Also, uh, apparently the bear that we had died. Okay. I love the bazooka because, like, yeah, it keeps saying the newfangled bear died, but there is none. There, It doesn't have that. That's That message doesn't mean anything. It's just throwing it at us. Wow. Can't move. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's, it doesn't have those. Stop telling us that game. So we're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over now, I guess. It has an amazing amount of defense, though. It's too bad we paralyzed it. There we go. <laughs> we did it, guys. Enemy left a present. There was an oriental meat. I don't want zombie meat. That doesn't sound good. But yeah, we, we beat an enemy with Gygus's background, so, you know. It's Asian meat. <laughs> Would you look at the time? Time for me to go to hell. <laughs> Isn't that all the time, though? I'm kind of sad that the uh, these locations' musics aren't randomized. I think that would have been hilarious. But we got a whiff of soup! The most important meal of the day. Soup! 
I forgot that that was our thing. Oh, now all the enemies are scared of us. Look at these sailors and women running in fear. These guys aren't going to be afraid of us, so let's go around. Okay, let's not go around, I guess. Wow, they're, they're running so hard. Including me in pajamas. Okay. Hey, dead dead. How are you doing? Oh, Dovey! Andrew wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Take care of yourself. It looks like you found something. Or finish remodeling a sky run. You can leave your summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. Thanks. It's gonna break. Let's see what the music is now. That's gonna be the main thing. What the heck is the music? Oh right, it doesn't give the right music like at all. It just gives like random area music. Yeah, see like this is your sanctuary location. Toto slash summers. Now what's this music? Is this the nighttime at the beginning of the game music? I'm not sure. Hi Peggy. Up. Oh. Well we crashed again, and this time the Skyrunner is not operational, so... Hooray! Oh god. Hi, Master Belch. You look so serious! You're in Summer's Dream Paradise! Relax and have some fun! Thanks. How are you doing? I'm trying to take a nap in the shade, don't bother me! Okay, Apple Kid, I'm sorry. Let's see who else we got. We got Mayor Perkle here. I wonder why such serious looking kids will as you would come to Zortan. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. Thanks, Mayor. No problem here. Lucky, what are you doing out here? Hey, hey! Stop putting your grimy fingerprints all over my car, you little punk! Is is this your car? This is supposed to be like a sports car. <laughs> he got downgraded. I'm actually a surfer, but you can't surf at this beach. Should I become a porter so that I could get tips from all the old folks? Sure. Don't talk to me. My mind is a complete blank. Dolly's clock is here. Are you from Eagland? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. Travel to Scaraba. <laughs> Paul, are you all right there? Yep, summer is full of jerks. We got some really spectacular things, like fizzy gelato. No, thank you. No. Oh. No. You're not gonna buy. I'm not buying. Wait a minute. That's weird. Usually when there's a photo to be taken, uh, there's a, uh, uh, what's it called? Something like standing out on the screen showing where the, uh, the flag is. That's weird. Okay, well, let's get ready for an instant memory, I guess. Fuzzy pickles! Yeah, there's no, there's no, like, weird flag sprite on the screen. That's weird. Only a tanning pro like me is actually, <laughs> okay. You're in a coffin, sir. Or ma'am. That's, that's usually not where you tan. Hello, question mark. Another nice day. Someone always has sunny days. Sure. Sunny days. Check out the Scarab Cultural Museum, sure. Okay, Dead Everdread apparently is is in charge of this place. Tisk tisk, you should know better. Cannot go in without paying admission, sure. Thanks, Dead Everdread. Uh, so let's see, who do we got in here? 
Got a present. A whole bunch of sarcophagi. Ch chubby kid around your age here. Looks like he was awfully wealthy. Okay. Just because he's fat doesn't make him wealthy. This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. Well, usually I don't, but show this room. Once you hit adulthood, you'll understand. I do have her, like, jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal would be in order? No. Weirdo. <laughs> Living proof fat does not equal wealthy. Okay, let's see where else we can go. I want to go into the cl uh, club stoic, but they won't let me in just yet. Want to get high? It's not fair. Used to hear as a poor town of Toto. No, no, I'm not a billboard. Yes, you are. Go to Cascara, but you need to cross the sea. A monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. Hi, tree. Okay, the tree is a cat. I'm gonna run away now. This shop is run by a diamondized person. You ought to shop there. Things are expensive. Arr. Uh, what do we like? None of this. We don't need any of that. We're good. Thank you. I think we're supposed to still explore around the town, but I want to talk- Oh, it's me on a bike. I'm a grave robber! Okay, this is me in the future, apparently. I was scared of the pyramid Scaraba, so I didn't go in, but I tell people I saw mummy-type monsters with my own eyes! Oh, that's... That's not good. Do you know the Stoke Club? You need to call a secret number for reservation. What? I'll give you the secret number. Warn you, it's a strange place. Okay, that's what we need to do. Uh-oh. Oh, happy day! I finally got a hold of you! Oh, Andrew, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right, you, the one holding the controller. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong! Oh god, oh god, too much pressure. Thank you, John! Thank you again for giving up the gift sub. Uh, how do I spell Dovey? Let's see. D? Uh, uh, O, U, Do, Do, V, wait, no, I, E, Do, V, there we go, I think I got that, P, <laughs> some ban sick of me, no, don't actually ban sick of me, there we go, Do, V, Hello, Lake. I've actually never had anybody spell Dovey with a G-H, but I did get a D-O-U and put an I-E at the end. Oh, wait, no. Of course, I forgot the most important letter, the Y at the end. I've had D-O-V-Y, D-O-V-I-E, D-O-V-E-Y, D-O-V-I-E-Y, D-O-U-V. It's... there's just so much. Hello, Andrew. So much. Okay, Scott. Apologize for any trouble. Man. The point is, teachers don't know how to spell Dovey. I can't to see you again from Tony. It's spelled D O. Okay, thank you. Do. Dimido. <laughs> Dove Dimido. Owner of the Dove Still. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go, uh, find that stoic club, because we can. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right, not right. Doug Dimidome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimidome? The same Doug Dimidome? Uh, the same, uh, Dimidome that's gonna have, uh, Crash Nabby on ice? That's right. Excuse me? Neighborly lizard. Some rock and music. Do 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 with a new funky mode. Well that was fast. Apparently dinosaurs what killed the dinosaurs? A bazooka! Ah! Sorry. <clears throat> Let's find ourselves a phone. 
So here's this club stoic. This is not the stoic club. Please be on your way. Gosh, okay. The shop should have a phone. Thank you, phone. Stoke Club. Hello, this is the Stoke Club. Oh, Dovey, sir, would you like to make a reservation? Certainly! Okay, alright. This is attacked by a, by a... Oh, no. A forest artichoke. Otherwise known as a ran boob in the real game. That's right, folks. We're being attacked by the infamous Ranboob. The enemy with just the best name. Also, the music here is the music of Pokey knocking on your door to in the beginning of the game, so that's just amazing. Ranboob. My friend Lancer has a great compilation of him playing this game. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Jamming to this knocking on the door. Let's go to the Club Stoic. Let's see what kind of weirdos are here. Okay, uh, let's see, we got this guy. I finally awakened the inner me, the true self. I've been playing Persona lately. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard, enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression to my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. This place rocks, ha, my id is telling me. Okay. Didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your repudiation of my entropy sort of entropy sorts supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. They probably just took out a thesaurus and, and just turned to random pages for that. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Incredible! Alright. <laughs> Slaps me. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. <laughs> the show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosophizes. Doesn't sound stupid. I think this guy's a waiter. You don't understand what the hey everyone is talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient. Oh, no, he's the waiter. Sorry, the, the department store mook is the waiter. They play a, pay high prices just for a glass of water. And the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. Dang it. Well, I got root beer here, so I'm having some of that. You know, I really want to eat some magic cake! It's a mysterious work of art, I can't get that cake off my mind! There's only one woman who can make magic cake! She's hanging out in this club! Yeah, she's over there at the entrance! <laughs> anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is blah blah blah, I don't know what to do. Um, you? Okay. What? What? Magic cake? You came all this way to eat my magic cake? Um... Am I... I'm... I'm just a kid, though. Please don't ask me to eat your magic cake, ma'am. I see, okay. Why don't you stop by a little cart out by the beach, on the beach later? Okay, bye! Root beer is not gross, thank you very much. Wink. Is magic cake the eating the new hand holding? Uh, I feel like it's a little past hand holding. What do we get? Stellar stew from the lizard. Magic cake, if you catch my drift. Although in this case, it's really more like magic brownies. Okay, so. She went from being the telephone guy in Dalam to this guy. Don't know who told you you came from far off just to eat my magic cake. I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover materials, the very special magic cake. 
And we're high as a kite. Don't forget a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. I'm kind of upset that. Uh, what is this? The. Is this. I think this is the Foreside music instead of Delam's music, and that's kind of sad. But we had a strange dream. Oh, no, Delam apparently is in my sanctuary location. Delam in the far east. Up in a cloud somewhere. Got the munchies. Okay, there's a dinosaur here. That's a good start. Place of Ray, the Crown Prince. Hey, Ray, you're bald. I'm sorry. Also, my throne apparently is a child. You want to explain that, sir? Prince Ray, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Apparently there's no problem there. Wow! There's oriental meat! <laughs> wow! There's freaky junk! <laughs> wow! There's a cheap stone! <laughs> These are your possessions. Use the treasures of the lamb. Oriental meat, freaky junk, and a cheap stone. <laughs> Great. Hello, is that you? Oh yeah, this so this guy is this was supposed to be the sprite of that woman that was in the in the club stoic with like the telephone hair. Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? It's not a big deal. Okay, yeah, I should have money in the bank. Dear old dad was thinking about hitting the hay, too. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Surfer dude. Prince Ray, you're my favorite blush. <laughs> yeah, Ray's a big hit with the ladies, by the way. Hello, dinosaur. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mm-hmm. Preet prut. Oh my god, I think that's actually the correct sprite for that guy. Oh, Prince Ray, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like it's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Like I said, He's a player. Please come in. Look around the house as much as you want. It's a nice house. I'm taking this. Whoa! This fanciful herb. Ray is poo. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the bed? What bed? Oh, Prince Ray. Do you have time to play with me? Happy me. Patty cake. Patty cake. Oh. How sleep? Floor. I just ate some roasted garlic. I just roasted some garlic and ate it. So the room still stinks. Thanks, Wario. So fun fact, like this area of the game was like the first part of this that I remembered ever seeing as a kid back in the mid 90s when this game first came out. I was like, why is there just bunnies here? What is this video game? And then I never saw it again for like another 10 years. It was great. Also, hi, Tony. I heard Prince Ray is deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. Okay, that's not, that's not correct. Okay, whoa! Sloppy gosling! Hey, was Stevie Wonder, how are you doing? You know that you do, do everything well, right? Do do? Oops! Hey, <laughs> say Prince Ray, you're still popping with the girls. Heck yeah. Heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. That's not the Ray that I know. I don't know if John is going to dress up as Paula. Prince Ray, blush. You're such a hunk. Aww. Oh. 
serve water, rice gruel, those sorts of things. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Goodbye. I wish I could ever cover my PP just by drinking water. Even though I've never seen it before, I heard the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, what is PP? It, well, when you drink a lot. Whoa! There's big pill! I think that's a sudden guts pill. Whoa! There's a fanciful skillet! That's not for me at all. Why do we have why do we have a chick in our inventory? I know you're 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 popular with the chicks, but why is the sloppy gosling in our inventory? Chick that just hatched. Oh god, it's gonna be making noise forever. I should just sell it. This is Moo, the place of nothing. This people trainer must first clear the mind of everything. Okay, Moo is Moo. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Ray. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. This is supposed to be an old man. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Bye. Cosplay Sloppy Poppy. No. <laughs> Ah, Prince Ray, I am a messenger for your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Ray, you must come back with me instead of seeing in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial now. Believe what I say, it is the truth. So yeah, if you go back to your master and see what's up, he's like, I never called you, but it's all part of the training. You just gotta give in to the training. This is all happening while Ness is high, correct? Prince Ray. I'm surprised he actually has his actual look. I'm the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I'm going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept? Yeah, sure. Ow! So, Prince Ray, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Yeah, why not? Ow! Ah, Prince Ray. Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Actually, the ears still function even again, okay, or whatever. I like that they cut out all the sound. So, Prince Ray. No legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I heard that was a fun game. Do you accept this? So, Prince Ray, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So, you can't answer. You can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Ray. Know that I will possess it. Prince Ray, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. We died, hooray! But not really. I'm kind of sad we don't have the Dalam music because it was really good. But yeah, this is a weird part of the game, and that's actually kind of creepy. You can imagine kids first playing this and being like, oh my god, what? If you say no to any of those things, it ends with training and you have to start all over again. This is a weird part of the game. The entire game is weird! Oh god, the chicken is fully grown. This is from a scene in Magic Hand, this music. I am proud you have completed your mood training. There's nothing more to teach you from the Holy Writings. Prince Ray? I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The coffin is moving. 
That's how it works in Delon. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The other ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One is named Dovi, is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Ray. Now that you complete your training, search out Dovi at once. For all beings, for the Earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Yay, Ray levels up a whole bunch. Shield Beta, 17. Teleport Alpha. Teleport Beta! So we had Teleport Alpha before with Ness, but Teleport Beta lets you teleport by just running in a circle, and it's amazing. T just completely runs past. My name is Ray. I'm the one who will fight beside you. I heard you were really high. I'm the servant of Dovi. I will obey Dovi. Dovi, my life is in your hands. Ray, Ray, it's okay. We're equals here. Ray joined you. We got Poe! Hooray, now we have four party members. Which means we can give Ray a whole bunch of junk to hold. Hooray. Also, we are going to like immediately sell that stupid... So remember kids, getting high lets you meet new friends. Gonna sell? No, not buy. We're gonna sell that stupid chicken. Also, I don't know if I said it before. Hello, flaming bagel, bagel for Christ. How are you doing? Where is it? Dusty Toad. Is that the hundred ten? I think that's it. So Ray doesn't like get equipment except for some really ridiculously rare drops. Also, more hugs for Espeon. You're implying I have friends. Uh, let's see... Give the bulky band to... Oh, I don't have enough money. Eh, you know what? There's... We're not here for lucky lose. We're not gonna... I'm not gonna bother with that. I forgot there was a restaurant here. Okay, wow, there's an interesting clientele here. Where's the... <gasps> it's a Fobby! Otherwise known as a Sloppy Boppy! Oh, the Fobby was the... was the sequence trigger! Talk to people at another table in a restaurant like this. Breaking into the room and checking their drawers for valuables. Yeah, other people on important ventures do such things. But you have to admit it's bizarre. I like the atmosphere in the restaurant. They have good food too. Pooey! Ooh, sorry. You know, I can't quite describe it. Drink glass after glass of iced coffee as well. Bleh. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, sure. Iced coffee. Soup? Please, we do not have such trash on our menu. I have the braised bow over minced baby leeks. Oh, ew, ew, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Fuzzy Pickles would have been a hilarious taunt for Ness. Hey, it's the Moo Master. The sky is blue and the sun is high. My heart's as full as a baked potato. Yeah, where's the secret sugar here? What the heck? Yeah, I, I like making my own iced coffee. Uh, let's see. I think the hotel has the character I want to talk to. Not you, not the pencil. <laughs> okay, hi. Excuse me. I heard the security guard in the Scarab Culture Museum isn't very nice, but he could be helpful. It's great. Fuzzy Pickles. Is that a Nicolas Cage? No, that can't be. No. 
I thought that was Nicolas Cage for a second, that emote. And I was gonna be like, I need to subscribe to this person. There's one thing. One thing I absolutely love is Nicolas Cage's face. Don't get too excited about this town's a tourist trap. Everyone seems to be nice. They're just doing it for the money. Thanks, Manny Manny statue. This is not good music for a hotel, for an expensive hotel. But you know what? I don't know rich people. I can't believe you pronounce hotel as hotel. In this country, hotel is pronounced hotel. What? So then your country is otter pronounced as hotter? How should I know these things? My senior year of high school, towards the end of the year, people put Nicolas Cage's face over all over the school. <laughs> Statue's talking to me? Is it Pegfest? I'm trying to remember what we did with Nicolas Cage. <sighs> it was something. I'm still- I still want to visit Luke Jin's house, like, just to see the framed picture of Nicolas Cage in the bathroom. Like, that's just- it's something that- that I just- I need to experience myself. I wish I was I was brave enough to do something like that myself as well. Uh, so let's see, now that we have- oh right, 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 of course. So I was like, what's the point to gang poo in our party? And I totally forgot, he starts off with like a diamond in his inventory. Not the bees! Ah, oh, Nicholas Cage is fantastic. This room is being remodeled, can't you? Oh, the samurai kid is here. Will he be, he be giving me that gem? Yeah, Pooh just has a diamond. Just straight up has a diamond. Excellent! Do you feel like you're ready to experience this great historical period? The experience is more valuable than the small gem. <laughs> the other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I get lots of money from him. <laughs> Anyway, we got Shattered Men over here. I think that's actually what their sprite is. Oh, I'm sorry, Alert Dolls. Excuse me. Uh, suppose like a little bit of everything. He's a fun character, but we're just gonna attack these things straight. Pooh does need to level up a bit more though. Why you got girls? I studied the way to the sword. The way of the sword. Uh, that's not healing Omega. What the heck did you use? What? He, and he was definitely using Magnet, but like, why did it... That was... I'm very confused. Anyway, Ray, you're leveling up, and that's cool. You got PSI Magnet yourself! Oh man, I was kind of hoping I would avoid this one. Okay, well, yeah, let's just beat this one up, too. Come on. It's like an answer to stuff for modern crap. <laughs> yeah, level up. I'm sorry my controller is so loud. It's it's old. Anyway, we read the hieroglyphs. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile and lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid is protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. This sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time, build their evil stronghold. A place at a time is beyond the dark and even further lost beyond the lost underworld. I came to the conclusion today that, um, what's his face? Uh, Bakura from Yu-Gi-Oh is is just Nagito Komaeda. Like they're literally the same person. And I need to draw it. 
Dobie, let's go scare her, but the pyramid is the key. Okay. Wait a second, here's a picture of the hieroglyphs of fear. It's a reward for studying so hard. You got the pathetic graffiti. You may use it in your human civ class. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Ram Raisin the Third. Love that they called a Ram Raisin, like Rum Raisin. Uh, hello, it's Mr. Fork of the Sca Is this Mr. Fork of the Scarab at Closer Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Do you recognize that voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon, from the Foresight Museum of Natural History. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating. It's fine. I'm telling you. It's fantastic. It's outrageous. Okay. Well, let's go see what he has to say, I guess. Let's teleport ourselves back over to creepy old foreside. Foreside without music. It just ugh, gets me every time. It's like walking in space or something. Yep, Mr. Fork and Mr. Spoon. <laughs> I thought it was an actual spoon, but no, that's a zombie fish thing. You know about something extraordinary? <sighs> you know, there's a new singer named Venus at the top of the theater. Can you bring me your autograph and an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. If you can get an autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if it's written on toilet paper. Better get some more toilet paper. Mr. Fork, Mr. Spoon, Paprika, and Cinnamon. <laughs> this isn't Blue's Clues. Yep, we're back here again. The place that just loves getting us stuck. Where is it? Fatty roll? No. Oh, mystery ticket. That was the three music. Oh, baby, baby, baby! Don't make me hurt so bad! <gasps> These guys are all stone cold gone for you! Ow, you cute sexy thing, you! Baby, sing to me, sing to me only, baby, Venus! Just singing, I can die happy, man, baby! I want to hold you tight, Venus, baby! <laughs> Venus! <laughs> That man needs a girlfriend. <laughs> Purge band, outrage band to boot. It's even better than than the fact that he just starts crying, because halfway through the thing he gets up on stage. <laughs> Look at this guy. Is that Thunderhead? No. She has a very squeaky voice.
I don't know the song well enough. This is a long song. Pretty much. You're a friend of the One Ray Five. Did you come see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let other fans see you enter. Oh god, she just turned into an old lady. Uh, Venus? Oh. You want an autograph? I'll give you my autograph in this banana peel. Here you go. Alright, so Venus is actually a middle aged cop. Got the brittle orange. That is not a banana peel. This is a bonus. Or, or he just smacked us in the face, I don't know. And... Please don't block our way! Oh, hi. Okay, good. We didn't have to destroy everything! King smacked and autographed? Lucky. When, I'll, when will I stream Wii Music? Never. I did a Let's Play of it. I did a, a combo video of Wii Music and My Sims Kingdom, and it's one of the best things on my channel, and you should look it up. Anyway, we gotta keep paying five bucks a piece. That's just... Yeah, a middle-aged cop smacked me and gave me a banana. You got it! The banana peel's authentic Venus uh, autograph? Yep, there's no doubt about it! Now for my promise, I'll tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there's a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge monster rat! I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out yourself. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Wii Music isn't really worth it. I mean, for five dollars, maybe? Okay, we're about to fight that guy that was thrown off stage. Disgusting Andy. And a stainless crackle. Like, Wii Music is good for like a good half hour of fun before you just get disgusted with it. Oh god. Used a weak calzone on me. I'm just gonna keep using the bazooka. Ow. Disgusting end, he was defeated! Who'd name a band the police? Oh, we became a pile of fluff? What is Mr. Spoon? He's the museum curator? Yeah, Wii Music was full priced when it came out. Oh god, there's so many enemies here. Okay, now we got Winter's Music and a really heavy echo. Ray, just keep leveling up, man. Uh, trash can. Chewy fruit bar. Ugh. get in the water. Let's just beat up these. The disgusting Andy, I think, is instead of the cockroaches that you normally fight out here. Hi, John. We got beat up by- we got smacked by a cop. You missed it. Also, we found Ray. Can you die? Thank you. Oh man, ye old hydrant. Uh, can I 
just... I'm just gonna go straight for the boss set, the rest of the enemies ignore me. More levels up. And now it's a dolly clock, you finally got here, this is the fifth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. We got an impish lady. What is this music? Is this one of the brick road musics? I think it is. Let's use, the, use the usual. No, this is uh, the the Minch House theme. Yeah. Wow. My magic is just not doing anything. How about thunder? Yeah, let's just use a shield on us, because why not? 113, that's a little better. That's rude. No, let's try PSI Midna, our favorite thing. Let's do more thunder on you, you continue shooting that, and you just do nothing. Six. Okay, that's good. Let's do it again, because why not? Do you want to use thunder? You can use thunder too if you want. PSI flash, that's not good. Okay, that was using magnet again. Is that a bipedal goat covered in sewage? It is an impish lady. She's wearing her fur coat. Anyway, she's dead now. That rocks! You got PSI Fire Gamma. Nice. This game is such a trip even if you're playing it normally. Hey, Ray, you got PSI Magnet Omega. You're almost caught up. It's still playing the minch. One sec. Let's just go all the way around this. Yeah. Whoa, there's a flimsy key. I learned that you could do this from Chega Conroy. Nah, Diamond Doggo is, is much later. PSI is just Psy, like Psychic. In Japanese it's PK, like Psychokinesis. Dovey saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. So the key that we got lets us go to the... Your Sanctuary location in Dalam. But first I just want to pick up all the treasures that I skipped over here. Eurokinesis. Sorry, excuse me. Let's see, there's a scuzzy rocket. It's nice for them to stay out of my way. Yeah. Continue staying out of my way, thank you. Okay, oh, that's a magic butterfly. PK Star Storm! We got smoking herb, otherwise known as, you know, marijuana. PK your face! <laughs> yeah, that bear is gonna. This this bear is just. Uh. Okay, that that's that's interesting. 
That's his in water animation. Key. Hope he's okay. More stainless crackles. You are hiking in seven degree seventeen degree temperatures. That's that doesn't sound like a good idea. Let's see here. There's a gross sauce inside. The only other person were kids smoking marijuana. That sounds about right. I want to fight you. Can I run away? Ray. What are you doing in the wall? What are you doing in there? What? what? Okay, the game just glitched itself. <laughs> I don't think the game can actually physically handle what's going on right now. It's like these large sprites were not meant to be here. Uh, let's see here, this is a vegan parsley, as, as opposed to what? Pushing the limitations of the SNES. Let's go with that. Oh, apparently we got another picture. Everything is a picture these days. Ready for an instant memory, look at the camera, say, Fuzzy Pickles! What a great photograph! Look at this photograph! Every time I do it, it makes me laugh. How did his eyes get so red? And what the hell is on Joey's head? Anyway, we're back in Dalam, which means. Aside from the fact that all these people are like, Prince Ray is such a good relationship with foreigners, what an international person! There's so many monsters. They, yeah, I like that they talk differently to Ness than they did to Ray. I want him to come by and show me his best barnyard. Not that kind of moo training. I'm waiting for Prince Ray to see me and say, I love you. I love you. What the hell was on Joey's head? Just need Patrick up in here go, I love you. Every memory I look at my back door. Some photos on the bedroom floor. It's time to say it, it's time to say it. Goodbye, goodbye. That's right, it's time for more pictures! So many pictures! A photographic genius! Ready, say! Spicy pickles! <laughs> Spicy tomatoes, that's not correct. Anyway, that's why the kid is there. He's the sequence trigger for that. Your future battle will be more dangerous, don't be careless. Thanks for healing us. furry cucumbers that's you might want to throw them out at that point I mean fuzzy cucumber fuzzy pickles you know are a problem too but if they're not even pickled yet like it's probably probably bad pickles are not gross you get out of here I saw that discussion in the discord before I like pickles I unapologetically love pickles, in fact. Let's use a flimsy key. How strange, the rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. I mean, you're allowed to not like pickles, but I love them. So there. Cats! The cats are attacking me. Okay, so now we have Gygus' like second form background against the quirky protectors here with water running in the background. 
from the peaceful rest valley, so that's a thing. Oh my god. <gasps> It's still alive. It's still alive. It's right here. It can't die. But why did it say it died? It got mortal damage. Did I have more than one? Bear, never leave me. Never leave me, bear. Bear, never leave me. I'm always bear. I've been bear the whole time. Dove is bear in Hebrew, so, you know. Lake Rampager. Oh, baby! I killed my beer! Why is this sleeping? Did you see that? It's like, yeah. Look, they're just little Z's coming at it. The floor. It's a murky band, okay. Yeah, there's the clever plush. It's still there. What's Ray in Hebrew? Uh, I should know this. Like, Zarach? Uh, I mean, Ray... Yeah. Like a ray of light. No. Zara no, not Zarach. Uh, what's John in Hebrew? I mean, John is not a Hebrew name, so it's from the New Testament. We, it doesn't have a Hebrew analog, I'm sorry. I mean, in Hebrew, Kimi is like who? That's the translation, like who? No, I just know Hebrew. <laughs> Bilingual. <laughs> What's that weird sound? Not everything has a has an analog, I'm sorry. Why does the ground have Z's though? Like, this is confusing me immensely. You're a weird sound. <laughs> it's fun knowing a second language. I'm sorry your parents didn't teach you Portuguese. Uh, let's see, Andrew. I actually have a cousin named Andrew. Uh, what's his Hebrew name? Dreary Basher, okay. Uh No, his, his Hebrew name doesn't match up to it though. I'm gonna get rid of the goopy yogurt also. I John, I gave you goopy yogurt, I hope you're okay with that. Hey, it's your dad! Japanese is something I, I want to learn one of these days. I think the Dreary Basher was a... Bat? Wow! That's really bad! That's a really bad weapon. Just gonna drop it right there. Uh, I don't want to go in there, I don't think. Strong spud. Well, we got potatoes now. 
I'm really upset that there's no music in here. It's like, I it disturbs me so much. <laughs> oh, you got freeze gamma there. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, the boss here apparently is the minor bird. You finally got here. This is the six star sanctuary location. Take for it's mine now. Take for me if you dare. Rare. <gasps> It's a peppy bloppy! <laughs> Guys, the boss of this area is Sloppy Boppy's older brother, Peppy Bloppy. Oh, this is a good day. This is a good day indeed. Oh, Pleppy Bobby. <laughs> Ple peppy Blobby. Peppy Blobby. This is a good day. Mark it down on your calendars. Today, we met the Peppy Blobby. Oh. I guess I'm sorry. Still mark it down on your calendars that we met the Peppy Blobby, though. Or just... You know, send a text to yourself. Oh my god! <gasps> he killed the bear again! You monster. You monster. Okay, that's it. Pulling out all the stops. We're using Midna on you. That's right. Getting Midna on the Peppy Blobby. I think that's a lot of health. This thing is a lot of health. Freeze Gamma. There we go, it was broken into pieces. Ray, I'm sure you can make room on your calendar for a peppy blobby. Enemy left a present, a big pill. Also, we got a ton of experience from the peppy blobby. Its name doesn't roll off the tongue the same way as Sloppy Boppy does, but he's just, I don't know, there's just something amazing about my new mascot, the peppy blobby. I'm kind of sad that we killed Peppy Blobby, though, but he did kill our bear, who is still here. He is the Greek version of Jeremiah. That makes sense, actually. In Hebrew, Jeremiah is Yermia. Jeremiah is like the, the Latin version of, of Yermia, or Yermiahu. Because, um, as we learned from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the J sound is a Y. Anyway, I had a sort of vision of seeing my mother when she was young. Got the pink cloud melody. I think we can get out of here. They turned all of the Y sounds from Hebrew into J's when translating to Latin. Yeah, apparently we unlocked infinite bears, which is amazing. <laughs> Sloppy Boppy 1204. Listen, I would if that wasn't, you know, really dirty. <laughs> Yohanan? I mean, John is... Okay, see, your name is John, not Jonathan. Like, Johannes is like, Johan did Jonathan... I don't know. I guess Johan could be John, too. Yeah, that's just... That, that does sound like Johanan. It's a lot of leaps in between, though. But yeah, I guess I guess that is, it is from Johanan. 
I don't have any friends who are named Yohanan who's named John in English, though. to think about that actually but anyway we we got the thing there so now let's head back to summers meanwhile you guys are like what the heck is coming out of Dovey's mouth if I wasn't tired I would just speak Hebrew for the rest of the stream and you guys would be so confused and it would be hilarious Taking a really long time to walk down this street, dang. Oh. oh, the eraser this time was the sequence trigger. Can I speak Yiddish? No, I wish I could because that language is just one sarcastic mess. It's so good. I can read Yiddish though, but I can't speak it. Yiddish is like a mess of languages. It's like German, Hebrew, uh, a few other like Eastern European languages like all put together. Thank you, you made my wife wake up. Oh, right, she was part of the cult in the Stoic Club. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Yeah, let's work hard. They put crap in a kid's game. Get on the boat. You're here to see Craig and experience. Get seasick. Yay! You want to sail the seas to Scaraba? Sure. We're reckless, baby. Thanks, Mr. T. You had a co-worker that was fluent in Yiddish? That's cool. They taught Yiddish courses at my college, but I was taking a different language course already, so what did, just did not have time for it. <laughs> the game is technically rated T now, true. But Yiddish is great, like, half the phrases in Yiddish are all curses, or like insults because that's just what you do when you're an old Jewish person, you just insult everybody around you. Like, uh... Wait, wait, wait! I need to stop the boat! It's been a long time since I was out in the open sea, I feel seasick. Oh, what am I gonna do? A sailor gets seasick! So how come you guys are all right? That bold guy over there. Your buddy, right? He came from Delam? You guys must be quite the adventurers. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now, anchors away. That's a lot of languages. Hello, Vulcan Cake. How are you doing? One of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, insults is Vax Viet Sibila, which means you should live like an onion, meaning with your head in your your head in the ground and your feet in the air. Ah, oh, here it comes. Or Blight via Lamp, Hank Batag Brand Banacht should live like a lamp, hanging all day and burning all night. Good stuff. Quality things. Stainless blossom. I thought this said bosom for a second and kind of, kind of scared me. I love this music. It's just like bass, you know? I wish, I wish I was able to like convey some of the other Yiddish phrases, like there's one really good one that's I should merit to sew the shroud for your funeral. It's really good. <laughs> Essentially just ways to say, like, you know, I hope that you like, you know, get run over by a, a cart or like, you know, various things. Just to, you know, express how much you love your fellow man. Dobie's level 47. That thing died really fast, especially since it wasn't a crack and it was a reflessia flower. And Jeremy means appointed by God. Yeah, Jeremy is Yermiahu. Uh, yeah, Yaram 
is like lifted up or appointed and the latter half of that is God. You helped defeat the Kraken. I threw my slippers at it. Maybe you didn't notice. There are children here. <laughs> are we getting summer's music for Scaraba? That's hilarious. Oh wait, no, 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 don't give us this music now. Oh. Are you come from Toto by ship? There's a scary monster in the sea. Did you beat him or did you escape? By the way, you're fantastic. Thank you. Anyway, we're in Scaraba now. You could tell it's Scaraba because it's the desert. You guys look happy. You may not believe it, I'm a healer. I don't really care. <laughs> is, is the shopkeeper an ant? I don't want any mummy bandages. No soliciting. I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Ant. Oh yeah, Yiddish is pretty much all insults. It's great. I gotta look this up now. One second. Now these. This is just phrases. Good. It's all the same stuff. This is depressing. Abigazentus leben ken me zik ale molnemen. Stay healthy because you can kill yourself later. That's terrible. <laughs> uh. Oh, right, yeah. Alitzain zondeim are race fallen. Uh, not einer zolim uh, bleiben auf uh, Songvetung. May all your teeth fall out, except one, and let that one get a cavity. It's great. Listen, isn't that great? Isn't that terrible? May all your teeth fall out, except for one, and let that one get a cavity. Ah. Uh. Yeah, my dad and I go back and forth with some of these. What the heck? Where? Who's the trigger this time? Is this a website? Yeah, I just googled Yiddish uh, insults. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Vaxen so dis for Sibylla, mitten cup and thread. That's the the one I said to you may you grow like on your head in the ground. Uh See how to give a curve in the mama's book. You were a whore in your mama's belly. What the heck? <laughs> I wanna know where these like why these came about. This is when people are sassing you. Ein Mole Seichel, das zweite Mal gehen, dem dritte Mal geht mir zu zehn. The first time, it's smart. The second time, it's cute. The third time, you get a sock in the teeth. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm gonna have to remember that one. 
It's like, ha ha ha, it's, it's funny. Say that again and I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> uh, anyway. Also, hello, Angel Night Rose. I don't know if I said hi to you before. Pokey Stink still hangs in the air. Be careful you walk, it's filthy. A chubby kid did his business out here somewhere. Ugh! Uh, yes, I mean, Jews had to kind of learn to talk smack with all the abuse that we got. <laughs> Great Southern International Resort, that's a lie. Shh, don't talk too loud what you want. Uh, let's get a lousy rocket. Oh, we don't have to carry him. Let's sell the spud. One sec. Let's sell... Oh, let's sell the meteorite. Let's sell... Sell the fatty roll. I don't think I really need anything else right now. Good morning, sir. Please let me read you from the local paper. The Scarab of Papyrus. Crack and the evil sea monster are now gone forever. There's some bad, some news about. Oh, okay, cool. You know, let's get out of here. If you're going to pyramid, prepare well. Be ready for whatever may occur. T Not these pyramids, though. Different pyramid. That's right, guys, it's time for another picture. Yeah, it's pretty much a long story. <laughs> it's a long story why why that was such a thing. But uh, you, a thief, a warrior, one who's come to see my majesty, you must decide what you really are. Therefore, what will you do? Make a star. Warriors, enter now. Okay, cool. Hey, I love this music. Let's just sit here for a moment, one second. Oh, here it is. This is what I was looking for. One second. <clears throat> is this, uh... Go away. Oh. A zisentoid soll's to, uh, haben a truck mit Zucker soll, uh, sollted überfahren. I wish you a sweet death. A truck full of sugar should run you over. <laughs> A vecher balcon, uh, dear in cop. May a soft balcony fall on your head. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times. Oh god. Oh man, the number three peppy kids. And we get to listen to tequila. God, I love this song. I wonder if those if those hieroglyphs are gonna come off the wall or not. Oh my gosh. The sweltering hippie. I don't think so. I don't think he has. Level oh, 41, wow. We're way over leveled. That's not a terrible thing though. Hey Ray, you got healing gamma.
Okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. Don't be over the casket! Ta da! There's a water panini! Ta da! The casket does not contain a corpse, it contains a panini! Just like in real life. Ba ba da! What do we got here? The monster clock. Oh god, that's the Dungeon Man music. Oh, what's Dungeon Man gonna sound like? That's a horrifying I thought. Well, Angel's level 42. Oh, sweltering hippie. We, I think we ran into a dungeon main earlier, actually. Another monster clock. Dungeon man, take me by the hand hand. <laughs> okay, complacent money money. I thought this was complicit for a second. I was like, yeah, no kidding. Second. Alright. Casca seems a little suspicious. I don't know why it's suspicious. I think we ran to, like, Dungeon Man's foot, maybe. Hello, goat. Stairs are too slow in this game. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Okay, Ness's head and Jeff climbing the ladder. Also, we got the responsible Skelpion. So that's interesting. And boss music. The enemy has a lot of HP. Oh, no, it's broken into pieces. Never mind. Since it was destroyed. We destroyed the hippies. What do we get? A yummy capsule. Oh boy. I do so love me. A yummy capsule. What do we get? Ta-da! Murky bug. But we get too much stuff. Ta-da! Defunct gadget. Uh... Yummy capsule. Do we drink it? Do we speed went up at one? Ta-da! Ta-da! Why is there a sprite for just Ness's head? Because you're in the deep darkness in like the water or the swamp there. You, you look like that. For the Russian port of the game featuring a gulag or that. Hello. <laughs> Brittle Punk apparently is the guardian of this place. And he's actually a star man, apparently, according to this music. That did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Have a little more. That was fast. Lots of levelage. Okay, there's something wrong with that duck over there. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna leave the rancid drink behind, I think. Ta da! A chilled egg? No, chilled isn't here. Into the sharks cosplayers at Magfest? I don't think so. More levelage! Anyway, let's step on this. Someone must have stepped on a switch. It sounds like something's moving. Very weird one sped up. Yeah, you got mid gamma. Mid 
Midna the objective best thing. It's just a fact. This is a very creepy room. Yep, that was the money money. Uh, we should probably make a room for this. <laughs> uh, John, you can eat the watery panini. There's something on the platform, do you want to get it? You got the black eagle eye. Uh, that's close to Hawkeye. Dang it, sweltering hippie. Ta -da! There's a cheap bracelet. Why would I want a cheap bracelet? We already have like a hundred. Uh, I can't throw this out, can I? No, I don't think so. What is this? How much is this gonna give me? That's what the recipe says. Okay, thank you for telling me the entire recipe. Recipe. Nani? Hawkeye Pierce. Now this is Hawkeye from, uh... Uh... What's it called? Oh, that's better. Cool. Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist. Sand Hawkeye. Oh my god, why are all these enemies just here? Uh, Ray died, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good spot to find some ingredients! Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna use the smoking herb on you to bring you back to life, though. Just remember, kids, smoking herbs can bring you back to life. There's a lot more enemies here than I remember. I should probably, like, actually heal you. Well, Ray, you're level 40, which means you're equal with the rest of us, finally. Hi, Mole. It's a lucky emblem around here. I wouldn't doubt it. Dovey, this is the DEA. Stop promoting drug use. I can do whatever I want. It's my stream. Except it's probably against Twitch's TOS to actually promote drug use. Don't take drugs, kids. Only smoke herbs. 